she's just really kind, positive, and just an exceptional individual. It's not like everybody in the world can be like her. She's just the most down-to-earth, nicest person you, you could ever meet. She's an excellent student. She's an amazing artist. She's a great golfer. Uh, she has so many talents. It, it's amazing how they all fell on one person. We knew about her in middle school, and she was you know, the top girl. She's always been the top girl in her age. We didn't know where she, what she was going to do, but um, when she came to Edison, we were really excited. She's put so much time into practicing it earlier in her life, so it really shows now. Fighting her way back out of the combination situation. I'm definitely impressed with the poise that I'm seeing. She's really starting to build her momentum. This is just showing some fire from this young girl. That turn right there, impressive for such a young surfer. This was a name that was not on that top 10 list, but can definitely do some damage to shake that list up in a lot of heats. She's a contest veteran, even at such a young age. She's mentioned the danger of the wild card, Mia Collins. I first started surfing when I was seven in uh, Hawaii. It was really scary for me at first because I wasn't really sure of myself and I was kind of afraid of the ocean. But my dad's a professional surfer, so him surfing and uh, we're always being at the beach and stuff, I always wanted to go out and surf. And after my first time, I got hooked. I was really elated. I was very excited. My first sponsor was Rip Curl, so, and that was when I was really young, so I was really excited to have that sticker on my board. It's like a symbol of just like, oh, you know, you're, you're good enough to be sponsored by somebody who believes in you that you're gonna do well. So it's just, it was really cool. Usually I wake up in the morning, almost every day, I go out by anywhere around six to seven a.m. and surf for two or three hours. And if the afternoon's good, I'll go out then and I'll surf almost all day on the weekends. The feeling you get from it, being on the waves and just feeling one with nature and also social aspects of it, just being with friends and going out there and having a great time and experiencing everything like that. It's just basically what it comes down to. Just recently I qualified to get into the US Open, the main event, the CT Women's, and that was really special for me because I've always wanted to have that opportunity and this past summer I did that and it was really special. Here in Huntington Beach I have a lot of support and friends and family who come down to watch me. It gave me a little more sense of the home field advantage kind of and it, it wasn't even that it was just being able to be at home and surf and get showcased on a world-class scale so that was special. Mental preparation is pretty crucial it's probably like one of the most important things. I try not to panic or get myself too psyched out I try to just keep calm and approach it like anything normally that I would do. Just focusing on surfing and not worrying about everything else. Perceiving myself as like I can do this you know and there's nothing that stands in my way except myself and my mental blocks. Sometimes, I mean, during rough patches, you know, you definitely get discouraged, and I've had times where I didn't know if I was going to still be good or good enough to surf in events and stuff, but I've always had a good confidence in myself that I can do well, so I've never really had a specific time where I just didn't want to surf. If I have a bad event, I mean, I, I get really disappointed because I hate losing, but you know, you always have to realize that it's just one contest or it's just one heat, you know, there's plenty of more times you can get back out there and surf again. And you know, if I win, I, I don't like to embrace myself too much because I feel like if you do that, it's kind of, it's not that classy, I guess. You just, I try to keep a good sportsmanship when I when I lose or when I win. The tour that I'm on right now is the WQS tour, which is the qualifying series, the step before the championship tour. And that's basically just trying to qualify for the championship tour. This year I finished 31st, which is pretty good. I, um, I won the North American ratings. So yeah, that put me in first for North America, but in the world I was finished 31st. It's still a long ways to go, but yeah, I'm pretty, I'm stoked with how I did this year. It's really, it's really awesome being able to travel and I've been really privileged over the years to have the opportunity to travel and it's, it's really unique to see different cultures and the way people are. It, it kind of just opens your mind to the, that the world is more than just where you live and there's so many different types of people out there and it's really cool to experience all of that and take it home with you and learn from it all. My name is Mia Collins and I'm a professional surfer.